wishes to convey their gratitude for you standing with them during the demise of their loved son, Peter Mujene. The Lord God bless you for standing with them. The family of Nelson Karanja Kimora and the organizing committee cordially invite, invite us to a fundraiser to help us offset the rising medical bill of Nelson Karanja Kimora, husband to Mary Daniel Joki Karanja of SDX and Mary's Modica Church, who has uncontrolled asthma with bronchiolitis. <laughs> It's like a uh, painting and vitamin D deficiency. On a monthly basis, his medical expenses is 120, uh, 120,000 and we have targets a total of 1.5 million to get uh, the maximum improvement. The ceremony will be at SDK and Mary's Medica, Regan, coming Sunday starting from 2 p.m. So this is, um, this will be accepted very soon than our sister church here at Reggae. We regret to announce the death of Kennedy Mushina, which occurred on third. He's the husband of the late Irene Duta Mushina, and he was son Jennifer Jerry Moshina, aka Wamoshina, which is the late, the late Jennifer Jerry Wamoshina, aka Wamoshina. He the late, he's the father to Jennifer Jerry, Moses Nedui, and Lucy Namura. By the way, will be on the 9th uh, of this month at PCPA Dogoto. And today there will be prayers at his home at 3 p.m. We also regret to announce the death of Mine Ladoni Goro, which occurred on the first of this month. And they, um, family members are meeting every day at their home from 5 p.m. Bayo will be at Mayaike uh, near the Garden School on 8th of this month from 10 a.m. 10 30 a.m. This comes from Tyler's Tyler's Kayoki board on behalf of the family. If those are our announcements the Lord God bless you and keep you may he watch over you coming week and may we need to trust in the Lord God bless you. We are going to raise up and sing out the blessing and worship. And at the same time, we will do our same thing at the word of God. And I think we are going to be blessed. It's a worship.
He says it that day, only for them giving their own the whole country. And even today, they do so, they dump them all, they say it that day, that was said, they keep that day, that was said by God, Ibrahim, in Lincoln, until today. Just tell God, thank you for all what we have done to them. It is good to have a day. Though we have a day in the church for family and giving, it is also good to have a day in your family. Only for the giving the Lord only, you and your family. To tell God how great He is and to thank Him for what He has done to you. One as you.
He said he fallen out because that he was a Samaritan. That one who, who got to, uh, to, uh, to thank him was a Samaritan. He was not a Jew. And he said, is it only these, these Samaritans who come to thank me? Where are the other line? This one shows that Jesus always wants us to appreciate every time. In whatever he did to us, he wants us to appreciate and say thank you. Let us not take this for granted. These kind of are not happening for granted. It is good to thank the Lord always. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4, the Bible says there, this is God, he was speaking to, to Israelites through the mouth of Moses. And he said, be careful, be careful my people, that you do not, you do not forget that I brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Never at any time where the Lord has It is the hand of the Lord, you are there, where, what you are now, it has taken the mighty hand of the Lord to be whom you are today. Flash back 20 years and tell me what you are. Just flash back 20 years or 30 years and see who, what you are at that time and whom you are today. It is good to thank the Lord. Never, never forget. Never forget to thank the Lord for what he has done to you. One last thing. Don't forget to all God benefits. God who thank you and heard you are crying when you are crying. You have been crying with the Lord the heart is your cry. Who lifted you out of the slippery, slippery pit, out of the mud and men? And he sent you on and Lord, he sent you your feet on the Lord and give you a firm place to stand. He put you a new song in your name when you are In fact, he lifted you out of the slippery, slippery pit of poverty. He lifted you and put you on a rock. He stand you on a rock. Not only that, now, and put you a song in your mouth, a song of praise. One as person. Now you are praising the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done to me. Thank you, Lord. I know, I know where you are, where I was and where, where I am now. Lord, we thank you. Born as you He put you a song, a praise of song. You are praising the Lord because of what he has done to you. It is good always to praise the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm, Psalm 50, verse 14, and verse 15, the Bible says, Sacrifice of giving to God, and fulfill your vows to the Most High. The Lord was telling you to thank the Lord, not only thanking the Lord. I think thanking does not have weight, but a sacrifice, make a sacrifice to the Lord of thanking. A sacrifice that can please God. A sacrifice of thanksgiving. Not only that you fulfill the vows that you have vowed to the Lord. 
Remember how you told the Lord when you are crying, when you are tamaking the Lord before you are employed. Remember what you told the Lord when you are in the hospital. Remember the vow that you vowed to the Lord. That you told him, Lord, when you take me out of here, I'll be faithful to you. Lord, when you give me job, my father, I'll be faithful in giving 10%. Did you do so when you are employed? You told God, my first, my first salary, I'll give as a first food. You do, do so. Or you are only you, you say it, but you did not fulfill that vow. God wants you to fulfill the vow. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 4 and 5. The Bible says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay or make any praise to God. Do not delay. Why? Because he has no pressure in the fools. Fulfill your vow. One last time. Fulfill your vow. And number 15 says, and, and when you fulfill, you make a sacrifice of them giving to God. And you also fulfill your vow to the Most High. Then number 15 says, then call upon me in the day of trouble. And surely I will deliver you and you will honor me. One as well son. After sacrificing to the Lord and also fulfilling the vows that you have vowed to the Lord. Then the Lord is telling you, then call me in the time of trouble. One as well son. Call me in the time of trouble. When you do that, call upon the Lord. Lift your high, your heart high, and the Lord will hear you. When you make a sacrifice, and a good sacrifice to the Lord. One as question. Hallelujah. There is a parallel verse to that one, that is Jeremiah, Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. It is parallel to that one. And it says, Call upon me and I will answer you. And so you great and mighty things which you do not know. Which you know not. The Bible says, when you sacrifice a thanksgiving to the Lord, a good sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Lord, then the Bible says here, call upon me after that. And I will, uh, and I will hear you. And I will hear you and show you great. One as well as Great and mighty things which you know not. There are great things which you don't know. They are mighty and great, but we don't know. But when you fulfill what you are supposed to fulfill, then the Lord will open the door. The Lord will surprise you with those great and mighty things which you know not. One as well. The Lord will do so because when you do what you are supposed to do. In Psalm 116, verse 12 and 13, the Bible tells us, after God delivered David from the hand of King Saul, because you can remember when Saul was seeking to kill David. And then here he says, after he was delivered by God. David says, What shall I render to the Lord for all the benefits toward me? David says, We will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. What shall I render to my God? Can you see a bit that song? What shall I render? Very best for, for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? 
of time just to come to appreciate, to appreciate him because of all what he has done to him. And in front to Solomon, he went and uh, When King Hiram came and he went and looked at those 20 towns in the land of Galilee, he was not happy with that appreciation. And he said, My brother Solomon, I cannot accept, I cannot accept this, this gift from you. This is not appreciation. What are these towns? They are poor towns. And I cannot accept this kind of task. Remember my gold. Remember my silver that I have given you. Remember my cedar. Remember my cypress that I have given you. And in return you are giving me these poor towns of God. I cannot, my brother, I cannot accept this. And he called those towns Kabul. That, that, that word in Hebrew, it says more than other. So Solomon did not give anything comparing to what King Hiram has given to him. May I tell you, my brother, who are looking at me? Our God is so selective than King Hiram. Our God also is so selective. Be very careful when thanking him because he can reject your sacrifice. Whenever you bring your giving here, this sacrifice you bring here, always be careful when bringing that sacrifice because God can reject you are sacrifice. Not only sacrifice that God has set. There are other sacrifices that he reject. When he compare how he has blessed you. When my sister, when God look at your bank and see what is there in your bank. When you look at your home and see how he has given you cattle, pig and what. When he just know, and he know how much you earn, in fact, a day, how much you earn in a month, and how much you earn in a year, and this is now a sacrifice you have given. He knows that you have 10 million. You have this that worth it, millions, and now you have put in your envelope a hard series to come and thank the Lord. That is mockery God. I'm telling you the truth. When, when he look at your account and you put, the, you have a million or you have a hundred of shillings and you put only a hundred or two hundred and you, you just take there. That is mockery the law. Asking, asking this King Nani, King Hilam refused the gift of King, uh, King Solomon. That's how God rejects. How he rejects the appreciation of uh, King Solomon, that's how he will reject you. Because you are not serious with what you are doing. You don't want the blessing of God. You only want just to be, to run up here and take your sacrifice without no, without thinking and asking who am I taking this uh, sacrifice to? If you wanted the doors and the windows of blessing, God to open you. My dear friend of mine, make a good sacrifice to the Lord and see the difference. Hallelujah. Bona sipi. And see the difference. There is a book come here. 
Hebu kuja tu huko. Wewe. Wewe una masha ba. Eh, na mkuja na hiyo rafiki yako. Wewe, wewe hata wewe tu. Nataka tumuone kitu kidogo hapa. Ndio wai pia. Ndio. Ndio. Okay. Now what is your name? Bogo. Bogo. Aye. Eh? Aye. Bwana kama ni? Eh? Bogo. Bogo. Okay. Who is afraid of? Hmm? Who is afraid of them? Wait. Wait. Ndio mwanata. Eh? Kimbo ile mwanata. Ono mwanata huyu. Ndio mwi kanaleta. Oh. Okay. Mana tahu gua? Good. Mama. Let us now look at this now. How we appreciate God. Let us assume this man have a twenty acres of land, isn't it? Mister. Mister Kamau. Mister Mwangi. And this is Mister. And Mister Mbogwa is fluent. In fact, lived in a lot of houses. And one day, Mr. 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 Mwangi and the wife agreed agree to give Mr. Ni two acres of land. Because whenever they went to visit, to visit them, they are sent to just to meet them in their rental houses. And they went with the wife and asked, just go and ask, ask him, do you want us to give you two acres of land? Because we can look, when we look at you, you cannot afford in fact, to buy a land. And it is not your fault because of your children, because this man has 15 children. <laughs> you want us to? You want us to give you two acres? Yes, please. Yes. Now, the man went through the a board and go and transfer the land two acres to this to his friend. After that, they stayed for a year, and also they go there again and ask them, "Do you want us to build a house? Because when you when you look at you, you cannot afford. We want to build you also a stone house. Do you want us to do it?" Yes. Yes. They build the house. After that, another one year, they could not even afford to build, uh, to, make, to, to, to furnish the house. They go again and ask them, do you want to furnish your house? Is that money? Yes. It's your, 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 Bon as good sir. This is a very good friend, isn't it? Now, after that, they gave two acres of land, they built a stone house, and also they furnish their house and they enter the house. After that, this man called the family of Mr. Mwangi. The wife and all the other children. They went so that because this man wants to appreciate this man for what he had done to him. And when he went there, he said, Thank you, Mr. Mwangi, Mr. Mwangi, for all what you have done to us. Thank you for the land. Thank you for the house. Thank you for, for furnishing us the, ha the house. Now, I've called you here so that I may appreciate you. Nataka tukule pamoja na familia yao. Na hii jogo inahara sana na ina inamu. Nikaona hii badara hii kufe vizuri kuchijie kukule na watoto wako na familia yao. Shua ni, is that fair? Nambia, amuulia kiu. Is that fair, my friend? Is that fair, my friend? Hmm? Okay, This is all what we, we do to our God. Oh, one of the that's what we do. We do to 
to our God. After God blessing us, in fact, when we come here to thank Him, to come to our God, we are thinking that the Lord can bless you. In the old corona million economy, when you have one million or ten million in the bank, and you bring two hundred here in the envelope, that is mockery. In the eyes of God, that is a mockery. In fact, you go negro. If you are even going to make a motion, then you can make a motion. Just two hundred. And that is, you call it, uh, it is an offering. It is a thanksgiving offering. What are you thanksgiving God to? Is that a sacrifice, surely? Can you have a house of renting, uh, rental houses? Everything has given you. And now, you are telling God here, God, I want to appreciate you. Naka go kokaraharu. You can go kokaraharu. You see now, what is that in the eyes of God, my sister? God has given you, eh? and you dare just give him 200, and that is, you call it a thanksgiving. Surely, is that fair? And you expect God to bless you, surely. You have to sacrifice a good sacrifice to the Lord. Let not go reject your sacrifice. Before you bring your uh, your thanksgiving, it is good to ask yourself: If this thanksgiving sacrifice will God reject my sacrifice of thanksgiving? It is good to thank to ask those questions. One last question. Come on, my brother. Can you can you uh, put this is Second Samuel. In Second Samuel, chapter twenty-four, number twenty-two and twenty-four. Umeme. Hmm. Tuweke hiyo. Put a star. Second Samuel. Second Samuel chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-two to twenty-four. Ah, okay. Continue to a cat to a cat. So this one is a I 
my goal, that will cost me nothing. One has I cannot. I cannot make a sacrifice to my goal that will cost me nothing. So I have to buy that ox. I have to buy the land because I want a sacrifice that will cost me nothing. That is David. And he said he cannot offer any, any sacrifice that will cost him nothing. Okay. <clears throat> And My friend, <clears throat> hallelujah. He said he cannot sacrifice a sacrifice that will not do what. This is an offering here. I told you, David said, I cannot offer anything that will not cost me anything. Let us not come here with an offering that will not cost you anything. Aya, oka, yeri mune, eh. Now this is an offering. Ari kwa nayo. Eh, kai mwana to ga te adwa. Okay, sawa. Okay, okay, oku, oka, oka, oka. Now I want, let us assume this is 50. This is 50 shillings, and this is 100 shillings. This man is offering, uh, he offer 1,000, and this is 50 shillings. Yote mbili ni yaki. Nigani ambayo unasikia inakugalimi? Hmm? Yes. This one, this 1,000 shillings. And now this can cost him. If he is giving to the Lord, this one is costing him, but these five, 50 shillings, it is not costing him anything. Whenever we offer just a 50 shillings, it is a sacrifice, but it is not costing you. Whenever you bring here as a sacrifice of that giving, it cannot cost you. Nego my sister. It cannot cost you anything. No one get no one Ongiru tangi ni kumi na wewe tawe kate, tawa aruta. Nogo kanga wiki ya mero kwe tano, ona kana yiga na limwe, oguo. It will cost you anything. Na gaida bi tuwa giona, you can see you that the sacrifice that you are giving is not costing you anything. He cannot bless. You. And that's why David says, I cannot. Over a sacrifice that will not cost me anything to my goal. I cannot offer a sacrifice, a given sacrifice to offer to my God. I cannot accept. I cannot accept King Alauna. I cannot accept. I have to buy, I have to give something. It will cost anything. 
Avasu wae, uruta mahongona, makaga kuradi mo. Tondwe uruta kake gongona, geta inado gora kuwaiti ya nafu. Noni hale ukana kake gongona, yekamu uguedi yekamu kost, na kekai yekamu radi mo. Wana suwe sana. King Hilam rejected the, uh, the, the sacrifice, the over of King Solomon. Nitondo diari na gado. Meaning, it's not uh, only, uh, no, sometimes you bring anything, not everything that you bring here that the Lord accepts. He rejected some sacrifices. Toro iti na lawara. Tia udi le kagira na ihenya muno baha sha akuo guo. Igana na vipti o paha ihenya wati na hau. Meko ti orate. Ako oke weda akura adimo. We shiria kiro ale hele gai. Wana shiwe sang. Hallelujah. We have to think. David says he cannot sacrifice to the Lord something that will over that will not cost him nothing. In Genesis chapter 4 and verse 1 to 7, when you read there, you can hear uh, two, two people here. That is Cain and Abel. They went to sacrifice to the Lord other than giving sacrifice. And when they sacrificed, in fact, Cain was not careful of what he, he was going to sacrifice to the Lord. And when they went to the altar and make a sacrifice, God reject, rejected the sacrifice of Cain. One as well as He rejected. They both make a sacrifice to the Lord, but God rejected the sacrifice of Cain. And he accepted the sacrifice of Abel. In fact, Cain was not happy because God did not accept, accept his sacrifice. Lakini mungu akamuambia, kama ungefanya mema, ungebarikiwa. Lakini kwa sababu umetenda kufanya mbaya, kuleta sacrifice ambaye haina maana kwa mbaya. Dhambi zinakuotea ulangoni. Kwa hivyo ni mizu, yu nikuwa ni mbili, there was two sacrifices there, of Cain and Abel, but God accepted the sacrifice of Cain. S sorry, the sacrifice of Abel. Nitodo an tire tarikai parawite. Nitoku batana, tuile ita yatoka again, na tuike maulume. The benefits of that giving. Benefit number one. That giving gives uh, that giving enable you to enter into a life of more than enough. Number one. When you give us and giving sacrifice, it enables us to enter into a life of more than enough. You have been living a life of hard to mouth, hard to mouth. But the Lord will take you from there. And He will take you to, to enter, enter you into a life of Madalina. We are not going to find out the baby. Number two, the giving opens the doors and it is secure your businesses and in your job, etc. And also, number three, Thy giving destroy and rebuild the devourer of your blessing. See, thy giving enable your project, your dream, your vision, your plan to get into the maturity stage. You have made plans, you have dreamt of many things, you are not failing. But when you are failing and go in giving sacrifice, the Lord will open and your plans and your dreams 
We will come into the maturity stage. Number four, thy giving gives enable, enable your project. Sorry. Number five, thy giving brings perfection of your desire. When you sacrifice to the Lord, He gives, He brings perfection of all your desires. What you desire, it will come to you. Because of the giving, the giving sacrifice. Look at our sister here in Fatty Samuel. In Fatty Samuel, chapter 1, verse 21 to 24. We have our dear sister here, the mother of Samuel. You know the story of the mother of Samuel. That was Hannah. He uses to go to the temple. To pray so that the Lord will give her a child. And she prayed for many days. But nothing happened. But one day he went to pray and he kneeled there. And he said to the Lord, Now Lord, open your ears and hear your heart. And he says, My God, this is a prayer. And it is a vow of prayer. It is a prayer of a vow. Hear this, Lord. I want you to give me a child, a boy child. And uh, I want to promise you, and this is my uh, this is my vow. After that, after I win the the child. Uh, The Lord had, and he was gracious, he gave Anna a child of his And then after she went the child, in fact he gave the child, that is Samuel chapter 2, verse 20 to 21. He went to the temple, I took the child of Samuel, and he wanted to thank the Lord. He did not. He took a something, a sacrifice that cost Hannah and Elkanah something. Muchungate. He took three bulls. Hannah took and Elkanah uh, took three bulls. And also the wine of the tail. And also he did not. He did not. He did not, he did not went there. To redeem the child. He went to there, he gave three cows. That was a sacrifice of them giving to the Lord. And also, they dedicated the child to the Lord forever. That's what he did. How great. Oh, yeah. No one could do Because God was gracious, and we serve a multiplication God, and we serve a vision of God, and because he was so gracious, God. For Hannah, because she fulfilled the, the vows, he was gracious to her, and uh, God gave Hannah three children, three boys and two girls, one as well. So, let us be faithful, let us be faithful to our God, and the Lord will bless you, and the Lord will take because we serve a God who take us from one glory to, to another. See there? He will take you to another. Where you are, he will take you if you are faithful to our God. Let us be, be careful when bringing to the house of God the sacrifice of our giving. And the Lord will continue when you are, we bring this sacrifice. The Lord will continue to bless you. Give us sacrifice that will cost you something, and the Lord surely will bless you. One last question. May God bless you and be with you. As you continue to be faithful, and whenever you
Mutungateli announced that there will be a family or a giving sacrifice. In fact, be ready to do so, and the Lord will open all the doors of his blessing. Praise the Lord. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
as we will be this opportunity to you so that the ministry and the church may continue. Do you know what that subject and set it apart to you for the glory of your name and even for the extension of your kingdom among these your people? You can these donations to go and visit just your children, God we want to thank you. Do you also accept it as a sacrifice from our hearts? All these donations, all these items, God we thank you. Do you bless those who have given as an expression of your gratitude so that your name may be glorified? Bless all of us and have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, you may be seated so that I may make a few announcements to those who are not there. One is to, to say that today was supposed to be Chanchel Das Day, where they were supposed to meet us in the service and do everything. But because we had uh, invited the uh, visitor to be with us, the church elders will take all the services on the 19th of September. They will lead us, they will preach, they will do everything in all the services. That is the request by the bishop that all the churches have this day today and lead us in the services. As we did when we had the cell groups where we sat by there and they sat. So on the 19th of September we shall give them to lead us. They lead us upon today to meet with the bishop at Bagheera St. Timothy for a get together fellowship with all the leaders in the houses. There are so many, but they have a special service with the This is the meeting will be next Saturday, 11th at 8 a.m. Confirmation candidates with their parents and grandparents will be here on 19th of September for the Thanksgiving after the good service. Then in the afternoon we shall have all the graduates from the dinner coming for the rehearsal. As we prepare for confirmation on the 25th, that is Saturday at 25th. So on 19th, parents and their parents after the good service. Then we thank God for the three weddings that has taken place in this church. The last one was yesterday, but I believe even before the end of the year, we shall have other weddings from you. So if we can pray to God to give you a chance to wait this year, we have about four months. Prepare yourself for your wedding. So, and now the conditions is in the city of Allah and the Papa, and here I will tell you why I am not so, then we lay out the roof of the moon of the parish. Even in the Hebrew service, we shall get to the conditions so that we may support them. So, the last wedding yesterday, those who did not attend, but I really want to know if you want to take a picture of how I got your wedding. Nimrod, the king of England, the Nipata, and 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 the Nipata.